let's start recording. Hey guys, uh, this is Tom FM. Welcome to the Real Deal. I'm gonna make some deals. Gonna talk some Spanish, and we're gonna we're gonna beat the Champions League. So subscribe. It's funny because we're actually on the Champions League right now. I like so. I like the video. Hello and welcome back to The Real Deal, or The Real Dale, as it was said in the introduction. My friend Ethan, was uh, he wanted to do an in intro, so it, it just happened. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, I know it's been a little while since we last properly spoke. I've been on holiday uh, for, for a while, which uh, some of you may have known, some of you may have not. Um, but essentially, a lot of stuff has been pre-recorded and things like that. So uh, I've not really properly sat down and spoken to you for nearly two weeks now. So I hope you're all well. I'm very well. Thank you very much for asking. And uh, let's get into some football managers, shall we? Now, since you were last here, things have been they've been all right, to be fair. Not been awful, but they've, they've been all right. Uh, last episode was the Liverpool and Betis game. So after that, we play Gironia away from home in the league. A 3-1 win there. Hans Osmanovic with a hat-trick. Uh, Emmanuel Colono missed a penalty. and Another poor performance from him since joining. He's not really had that standout performance that I've expected to see from him. So we may have to drop him, actually, thinking about it. Straight after that game was the AC Milan Champions League game. And we lost 3-1. Uh, AC Milan deserved to win, but we weren't down and out of it, I've got to say. Uh, if you look down behind me right now, Luka Adzic and Dominic Solonke, both with good ratings, but we just couldn't break down their goalkeeper, which is a bit frustrating. Hopefully, we can break down their goalkeeper today as we take them on along with Real Madrid. Next up was Levante, uh, a 3-1 win there at home, which is good. Hans Osmanovic with two goals, Habo with the other one, and we played 85 minutes of that game with only 10 men, so to win 3-1 was fantastic stuff, I've got to say. So I was very pleased with that performance. And we carried it through into the game against Racing Mahada Honda, I think that's how you say it. This is in the cup, and uh, they're in the same league as the B team. So we basically played the B team. We had Garcia, uh, Diaz, Cano. Uh, we had players and Meza all starting. Uh, Meza and players did manage to get themselves on the score sheet as well. So it was a pretty good game for the players that we brought in for that game. And then last time out, we lost 7 2 to Malaga. So, I mean, let's not talk about that, shall we? We can blame that on a few things. Uh, we can blame we can blame that on me forgetting to put Berke Erza back in goal and keeping uh, Garcia in goal. Or we could blame it on the red card. But then we did concede three before the red card. Um, we could blame it on the red card in defence and me not making any real tactical changes. And then I went to go make a sandwich and forgot that we were on attacking. And yeah... But maybe that's what why I lost. Either way, it was a very, very poor result. Not great at all. Uh, it still leaves us seventh in the table, though, joint with Real San Sebastian. Our goal difference is awful now because of that last game. But we're not far off other teams around us. We're all on 10 games now. I'm sure with a good few wins under our belt, we can get up there. We have lost four games in the league now. So uh, one more loss and we equal the amount of losses we had last season. So it really does show how good of a season we had last year. Champions League wise, we still remain bottom of our group on the one point. Uh, Liverpool are probably uncatchable. If we beat AC Milan now, we may have a chance of coming second in the group. Uh, but I think we're aiming for third place right now and trying to beat Besiktas. So the first of today's games is against AC Milan in the Champions League. Uh, and then we've got Real Madrid in the league as well. I meant to say that right at the start of the video, but uh, I'm out of practice. I've not made a video for two weeks, so I forgot. Hans Osmanovic in inspired form right now. There's 17 goals so far this season in how many games? How many games? is uh, Nine games, 15 goals in the league, uh, 17 and 12 overall. So he's doing pretty well for himself this season. Uh, clearly the injury that he sustained halfway through last season did not deter him and he's doing very well so far. So I'm very pleased. He's going to be leading the line today in today's formation against AC Milan. We're going to go five at the back again. We did it at their place and obviously it didn't, it didn't work too well. But we're going to try it here uh, once again. So Gonzalo Garcia in goal is not going to happen. That's why we lost to Malaga. Uh, so much. Uh, Berke Erza back in goal uh, with the back line of Verba, Diaz and Romero. Cucurella and David Cameron as wing-backs. Harbo and Colono in that midfield with Adzic as that attacking playmaker, or attacking midfielder rather. Solonke as the target man and Osmanovic leading the line, as I said earlier. should say a few of you actually were interested in seeing uh, Colono's history. All he's done is a few, a few seasons at, at Newell's Old Boys in Argentina. Uh, last season was very, very good for him. Eight goals, 12 assists. So far, nothing at uh, Oviedo, despite being our playmaker, which is a little bit annoying, I've got to say. I, I expected more. Here we go. Kickoff is upon us. We're at home today, so hopefully we'll have this home advantage as uh, we try and grab the win against AC Milan. A win it, we, we have to win these games now. If we don't win them, 
Um, we're, we're probably going to be crushing out, especially if Besiktas beat Liverpool today as uh, Suso has an early shot that goes wide of the mark. Of course, we could still come third if we lose against Liverpool and AC Milan in these next two games. Um, it just relies on Besiktas also losing and then we beat them in the game we play against them, then we should go above them by one point, I believe. They've not won a game yet. They've drawn a lot of theirs, I think, actually, as uh, we come forward down this right hand side of the pitch. Colonna now looking for his first assist. Puts it wide to Cucurella, though, who's probably in the better position, actually, to get an assist. Puts it in, but the AC Milan goalkeeper is there to collect it. So, uh, not quite the best cross in the world as they now try and build from the back. AC Milan, Moisey Keane on the ball. Uh, he I tried to sign him myself several times from season one thinking I can get him on loan but it never really happened um because he's one of the best wonder kids in the game but we have got a chance now as Osmanovic has been put forward from the back Osmanovic in behind the defense shot just over the bar I think by looks of things and uh, the score stays nil nil ah brilliantly Liverpool have just gone one nil up against Besiktas so they go back to three points Besiktas which is good for us um as long as we can stay within touching distance of them there's still chance of us getting third at least in this group which is what I'm desperate for uh, I do not want to end our European journey in the group stages. I I'll take Europa League. I want Europa League. Uh, I want Champions League. I want Europa League. I want anything. I just want to stay in Europe to try and um, get a bit more money. Money is the main thing, I think. We're, we're okay for it, but I think we pay a lot more wages than we're meant to be paying and things like that. So this kind of extra Champions League and, and Europa League stuff would be great as we come down this right-hand side again. Again, David Cameron trying to be the integral part of a team right now. Uh, Adzic, though, does get tackled. And Borja Meirol of um, Real Madrid in real life. Uh, moved to AC Milan on a free transfer, I think it was. Uh, we tried to get him. We had a contract sent to him, but AC Milan came in with a better one. So that's another reason why I want to beat them, because AC Milan stole a player from us. As David Cameron puts a ball into Osvanovic, who scores the opening goal of the game, 28 minutes into it. A beautiful cross from the uh, the former British Prime Minister, David Cameron. Osmanovic gets on the end. That's his 20th, no, 18th. Uh, I mean, straight away, they've equalised. So um, that, that brings the mood down a little bit. Uh, I was quite excited then, but, you know, okay. And, of course, it was the man who we thought was going to sign for us, but no, signed for AC Milan instead at the start of the season. Thank you very much. I've got to say, though, we've got a, a pretty decent performance. We are the better side stat-wise. Let's Our possession's not too bad. Usually, when we play far at the back, the possession is awful. Uh, we're only down by, like, 8%, so it's not too bad. Berkeley Urza with a goal kick up towards Dominic Solanke. Doesn't win it, and neither does Romero. I mean, him and Kalina looked at each other. Uh, and both of them didn't want it. Left it to the AC Milan man. And if they scored from that, I would have been very, very cross. But Osmanovic has been put forward. Solonke is open. Why did he not pass it to Dominic? Dominic was going to score that nine times out of ten. And yet he's... I mean, if I was Osmanovic, I'd probably want to take that on myself as well. I've scored, what, nearly 20 goals already this season in not 20 games. So, I mean, it's... It would have been worth him having a shot, but I think in that situation, he should have passed it across to Solonke. Throw in now for us as, uh, we, well, we, we give it to the opposition. Okay, that's that happens quite a lot, actually, giving it to the opposition from a throw in. That's uh, always nice when it happens. There's Moise Keane now on the ball, tackled by uh, Harbo, although it wasn't really because they retain possession, don't they? So here come AC Milan. Suso just surging up the field, a cross ball pitch to, uh, a cross pitch ball to Moise Keane. Uh, Moise Keane back across to Suso. They're just having a nice little game between them two of them now. But his ball back to Moise Keane wasn't great. And now Dominic Solonke can come forward with it. Back to Romero, though, trying to play it safe. His ball forward. I don't know who that was even looking for. It went straight to them. Borgia Mayero into Suso. I can feel a goal coming here because the highlight's been so long. And of course, it was Suso connecting with Moise Keane. And now we're behind in this game. Brill. Highlight is straight from kickoff, though. Come on, boys. Let's grab a goal from this. Diaz up towards Osmanovic. You can't win the header, but it does go to Harbo or Habo. I've not quite worked out how to say it yet. Adzic into Osmanovic, into Dominic Solonke, who didn't quite get enough power on the shot. But if he'd passed to Dominic earlier on in the game, we would be 2 all, not 2 1 down. Push forward, boys. Push. F I mean, I would change formation to be more attacking, but we have had more shots and things like that. We are playing better than AC Milan, I've got to say, is. Their man has just been sent off. Now, this... Right. Now, this is where we go for it. We're going to go to the attacking uh, formation that we know and love. Although, I am tempted to uh, do th this. Will th will, does this this want to work? We'll put him there. We get uh, a roll heiser on the right as well as an inside forward on support. Adzic as the inside forward on attack. Now, this is where we're going to make them... Punish. We're going to punish them for this. Now, we switch formation. We make the change. Hopefully, 
We're going to smash him now. And there's a highlight straight away as soon as I make that change. Colono now on the ball. Uh, again, he's, he's still not impressing me, especially with those kind of shots. Colono's free kick, though, into Romero. Osmanovic hits the post. Okay, I mean, we've had some decent chances in the, like, the two minutes since the red card happened. If we can keep this up, we're going to grab the win, surely. Oh, I swear. No, please. 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 Don't end the game now. Please. How have we lost? They've had three shots on target. Oh, this is not good. Oh, but at least Besiktas lost. Oh, I hate this. I hate this game. Putting the results aside, it was a pleasing performance because it was. Apart from the scoreline. Well, actually, I think that guarantees now that we can't get uh, Champions League football. Can we? We've got two games left. We can get six points. We could. But AC Milan have, they've beat us twice. I think it was on head-to-head -head record, doesn't it? And Liverpool are too far away. So I don't, I think we can only hope for the third at best now. Um, so thank you, Champions League. You've been very nice. But please, Europa League, please come through. Oh yeah, it's, it is confirmed. We've been knocked out of it. Um, fantastic. Great. Brilliant. Love you. Real Madrid in a few days' time. Hopefully that'll be better. We beat Barcelona 2-0 earlier on the season. So I'm kind of confident uh, against, against Real. But now let, watch us lose 5-0 now. At least our under 18s or under 19s having a great time. They're top, they're top of their group against Liverpool and Besiktas and AC Milan. How? I guess that just shows how good our, our youth regens are. And uh, in a few seasons' time, we'll be top of our own Champions League group with all those young players, maybe. So here we are, finally, now at the uh, Real Madrid game. The final game to kick off this weekend. And because everyone has to play, as you can see here, at different times, it just takes so long every weekend to get through every game, and especially when you're the last one, it's just annoying. Uh, so we are going to stay with the same formation and, and stuff like that because it's, it's Real Madrid. We have to go five at the back. Um, and, and quite frankly, I don't Do we make any change? Uh, yeah, we do make changes, actually. Um, we're going to bring Bedeka on for Colono because Colono has just not done anything, uh, I'm afraid. Uh, no, one-to-one -one support, not defend. Um, Colono, just really, we'll put him on the bench at least. We'll put him on the bench at least, but I'm just not impressed with him, basically. So I think that's the only change that we'll make. Uh, Harbo and Bedeka make that midfield partnership now. Um, thingamajiggy, Colono, out the squad. He's, he's just not performing to the level that I'm expecting him to. Perhaps I'm being harsh on him. Perhaps it's because he's got that big reputation coming in. Perhaps it's because he's got that four and a half star current ability, five star potential. I'm just expecting more from him, but... As of yet, zero assists, zero goals, and it's it's not what I bought him for. Either way, kickoff is upon us now. Uh, we're at home against Real Madrid, uh, so we hopefully we'll have the home advantage again, like we did in the AC Milan game. Hopefully, we'll still dominate the game, but uh, hopefully the the scoreline will be different and we'll win this one. As I say, everyone else has already played, so a win today would put us on 21 points. Uh, so we'd go up to fifth ahead of Malaga if we end up winning today. Currently ahead of Espanyol now because they lost their game. Uh, so the point that we've got at the moment would be enough to take us above them into sixth in the table. But obviously Real Madrid are going to be doing everything possible to try and stop us getting the win or any just a point even, aren't they? So um, we'll watch this game intently. That ball wasn't great and David Cameron makes the interception. He's in the team again as Diouf is suspended this time. Uh, Osmanovic once again going alone. Uh, not really much more he could do there, I've got to say, other than get it on target. But there was no one's passive at the time at least. So that's when he do take the shots. Adzic already indicating that he's, he's taken a knock. Excellent stuff. We'll uh, we'll leave him on for now because he's not got an orange injury next to him. We'll maintain. We'll watch his uh, condition. It's getting better. He's got up to eighty percent now, so he'll be fine to stay on the pitch. He'll be fine. There's international break after this for two weeks as well, so if he's injured for two weeks, that's fine. He Adds it with the corner now, though. Puts it in towards Romero. Doesn't quite get it. But Decker on the edge of the area into Harbo. Harbo puts it back in towards Diaz. Verba gets on the end of it. And the two central defenders combining there to open the scoring here in, in a very similar fashion. Uh, not similar fashion. Same time, basically, as we did against AC Milan. Um, and we've lasted more than two minutes without conceding as well. So we're doing better than the AC Milan game right now. Real Madrid are coming forward now, though. Marco Asensio, surrounded by our players, but still manages to get the pass away towards Isco. Erdegaard puts it back across to Paolo Dybala, and uh, they've equalised. So, okay. Well, we can't complain too much at half time. We are drawing with Real uh, Madrid, so I can't complain too much, I've got to say. It's been a decent half. They've been the side on top, obviously, uh, as you can see by shots, shots on target, and most importantly, possession. 
65 to 35. That's not great. If we can hold them off, actually, for the rest of the game, get a draw against them, that would be uh, delightful, I've got to say, given the circumstances, and especially coming off uh, the back of a loss to AC Milan as well. But Asensio does find Pasolak, who's completely open, has all the time in the world to pick out his cross. Luckily, Diaz gets there just in the nick of time, and Osmanovic does win that ball. And now Luka Adzic has been put forward. Solonke is waiting in the middle, and... Okay, actually, I understand now why uh, Osmanovic didn't pass to him in the AC Milan game and took it on himself. I, I fully understand that now. He's on the ball now, though, is uh, Salonke, and he nearly loses it, but Deca actually manages to uh, to get the rebound, and Osmanovic has been put forward. Donnarumma, though, with a, uh, a decent save. But Deca now on the ball in towards Adjit, into Salonke, who gets it back to David Cameron, and there's people who should be making their way into the area. And not, not making passes, very risky passes like that. Verba just about gets there actually ahead of uh, Dybala. The ball up uh, is, is, again, a panic's not a very good one as, as Dybala was closing down Burke. Uh, Isco now on the ball. Kukron makes the interception though. And Dominic uses his height to get past the defender into Adzic who's through. Adzic, Osmanovic, oh, not quite. Nearly, nearly, you know, to be fair, he had the right idea, Adzic, I've got to say. Osmanovic didn't quite get there with his pace. Uh, the resulting corner, though, we scored from another corner earlier on in the game. This time, we we don't. As it goes back to Adzic, though, he's got another chance to whip one in, uh, but only it, it goes straight to Pogba. So it didn't quite work out for us. But again, we're still doing well. Going to make a change, though. Uh, Hans Osmanovic is going to come off, and Abel Ruiz is going to come on the pitch instead. And uh, Adzic is still looking a little tired. Perhaps we take him off. Uh, Rolheiser can't play there. Can Colono play there? I'll give you a chance, Colono, and don't let don't you dare let me down, Colono, because there'll be trouble if you do let me down. Just before the subs come in, though, we're on the attack as Salonke puts forward Hans Osmanovic into Harbo. Harbo, oh, the shot saved by Donnarumma, a decent check. We're having all the good opportunities, although they're still dominating us in everything. Um, we're having the better of the opportunities, I've got to say. Corner for Real Madrid right at the end. Romero makes a decent clearance and Bedeka is first one there. Colono is now in behind their defence. He's got men with him. If he can get a good penalty, it's a penalty. Oh, oh surely a red card for them. Dominic's, oh, Dominic's the man to take it, but do we give it to Colono? But, you know, he missed one. He missed one a few games ago. So, we leave it to Dominic. Dominic, to win the game he steps up and it <sighs> well we've got a throw in now instead love a good throw in don't you right throw ins are the best bloody love a good throw in they didn't even get a man sent off did they they, they didn't even get the man sent off for that so really was just a waste of everyone's time Okay. Okay. What? I hate this game. I hate this game. Oh, for God's sake. This game just makes me angry. It makes me angry. Am I going red yet? Oh, it's not. Why, why is it not working? Oh, that was a great comment. Put the put the red slides in when I'm angry. But I've, I've not gone red. Why, why am I not going red? This, this game just does not want me to do well. Does just... I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow.